Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. And you're probably wondering, why am I standing in front of this clock and these two thermostats? Well, don't worry about that. That's just the ceiling fan control. So these two thermostats is what I want to talk about. And it has to do with an outdoor wood stove. And when we're using, uh, connecting it, let's say, to a forced air furnace, how do we make it work? We're going to explain that. First of all, I'd like to say thanks for coming back to the channel. All you new people, appreciate uh, you know stopping in. I do appreciate all the people that's been jumping on board and subscribing, so thank you. But first, before I explain this, I'd also like to say that I am not affiliated with Central Boiler anymore. They don't pay me to do any of these videos. I was a dealer for them for 10 years. I got this from them. It says White Pine Outdoor Boilers. Uh, Kevin went back 10 years of dedicated service. So I sold the outdoor wood stoves for 10 years. It was a side hustle for me. I drove for UPS, retired uh, from UPS after 36 years. But while I was being a driver, I, I had the side hustle and Central Boiler treated me good, had great customers had a big area and I was a very busy young man. Uh, our best year we sold over a hundred units and because of that I had a couple installers uh, doing installs. I delivered my furnaces, took all the orders and did all that. Someday maybe I'll tell you what all I did but let's talk about these thermostats. Uh, there again I'm not a licensed mechanical installer. If you're going to go ahead and install your uh, outdoor wood furnace and do everything else and not comfortable with uh, doing your thermostats, get a hold of an HVAC guy, a uh, heating and cooling guy, and have them come and hook that up. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I did and how it worked for me. So this thermostat here was what was here before we hooked up the outdoor wood stove. Uh, this uh, controls the propane uh, forced air furnace. This also com, uh, controls the air conditioning uh, as well uh, for the house also. This one uh, just makes the blower blow. That's all it does with the same furnace. I'm just blowing, blowing uh, hot air off the coil, the water to air coil, and I'll show you that down in the basement. That's all it's doing. Excuse me, so how, how does this work? Well, since I've got this one hooked up, actually the, the fan just kicked on because it's calm for heat. I set, I set my new thermostat because we wanted a house it'll, uh, somewhere, well, it's set at 71. And we can adjust it up and down, uh, just like a normal one. So we got it at 71. Uh, the other one, what I did is I adjusted it down to 65 because I don't want the propane to ignite and to kick on, which some people also have a question is, what if I go away, how's my house gonna heat? Very simple. You could uh, go ahead and load up your furnace, and when the furnace, uh, let's say, runs out of wood and the water starts cooling down, and it gets cool in the house, if I have it set at 65, when the temperature in the house drops down to 65, the forced air furnace will ignite and will reheat the house and keep it at 65 or whatever degree I want to set that at. So I have no worries about going away. Or I could just let the furnace go out before I leave and shut it, you know, kind of shut it down and, and go ahead and set my uh, thermostat if I wanted to that way as well. And some people uh, might say, well, the water's going to freeze. You would have to go with that water out there being 180 some degrees and it's all spray foam. It would have to get very, very cold for a long period of time. I'm going to say two, three weeks. I'm going to say three weeks before it'd be cold enough to freeze. And it will not freeze if you leave the circulating pump running and your propane furnace will heat the water enough where it will not freeze. So anyway, let me let me show you uh, what how I did this. Okay, very very simple. 
Here are the, the thermostats. Okay, so let me zoom in on them. Let's go ahead and start with the original one. So all we got to do is hook into the R and the G screw. That is it. Now, here is the R, and here is the G. G and R. That's all we need to do. All I did is run a jumper wire, and I used, I, I should have used the red one, but I hooked my white into the red. Remember, I got to go to the R and the G screw, and I just tucked this since I got a log house. I just, I put it right here, and with this uh, thermostat, I had to run it to the R and the W. You have to read your instructions, but that's all, that's all I did to make the blower blow, and that is it. Now, if you have, let's say, if, if you got a dry, drywall house, you would be able to come up through your drywall and, and not have to do this. And you could actually run a new thermostat wire, which would be a, a two-wire thermostat, and just come to here and not use a jumper. But I use the jumper wire, and that's, that's, that's how we, I, I did this. This is how we did a number of uh, furnace hookups for forced air. Let's go ahead and put these uh, back on. This one will probably kick on because I, I know it was, uh, I heard it kick on earlier. So the thermostat's calling for heat. And we'll put this one on. There, it, it, I, you can't hear it, but the furnace thermostat just kicked on. And you can see, because it says heat on, right here heat on so the furnace is all it's doing is blowing with my new thermostat so that is how simple this is let's go down to the furnace itself and i'll, I'll show you what i'm talking about the r and the g screw down there on the furnace okay we're down here on the furnace and to get into where the thermostat wire is we just got to pop this off and we should be able to find it pretty fast and the easiest way to find it is here's the thermostat wires and if we look in here uh, let me zoom in a little bit if we look in there let's see come down There you go. You can see a red wire, and that is hooked to the R, and the G wire, which is green, which is hooked to the G. Let me let me grab a jumper wire, and we'll make this. We'll we'll kick this in. Okay, I got a little jumper wire. All we're going to do is touch the R and the G. Okay. And that, all that's going to do is make the blower blow. There's the R, and let's see, here's the G. Here we go. So that's all your thermostat's going to do up there is ignite your blower. That is how simple this is. Literally, that's how simple this is. Let's go ahead and put that back in. So if you're going to run your own thermostat wire, a two wire, you just hook to the R and the G and you'd run it up there and hook it in. Where what I did was, like I said, I went and used the jumper wire one is because of I have a log house and, you know, I just didn't want to mess with it. And, and I, you know... It'd be a pain in the rear end. So that's how how I did it. And that's how we did most of them when we was uh, doing the outdoor wood stoves. So let's go ahead and jump up back upstairs. Well, let me show you the let me show you the uh, coil here. Here's 
let me turn this light on. A water to air coiler coil is right there. This gentleman, we just bought this house. But I did sell him all the parts uh, back in 2007. But them, that's the water to air. He did put unions on it. So it can be uh, broke and taken out. So uh, let's go back upstairs. And you might say, Kevin, can you adjust your thermostat? I don't know. It's at 71. So let's say it is at 71. And let's say we want it at 72. We go to 72. Let's see if it says heat on. Heat on. The blower is now kicked on and it's going to heat the house up to 72. So that's basically how simple that is. Like I say, I'd have to say 70, 75 percent of our installs was for uh, forced air furnaces. And I think what I'll do is uh, another uh, video is I'll um, go and do a boiler system uh, for in the house, like a radiator a boiler or in-floor heat, and show you how how simple that is uh, to tie into a boiler with a flat plate exchanger. So I hope I explained that good enough. Um, and it's 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 a very simple system uh, as far as hooking it up and how it's not complicated and you're able to keep your house as warm as you want here's here's something i uh i sold the stove to a, a couple years ago and and it was cold in their house when i delivered the furnace it was winter time and i asked them i said why why are you, you know, getting a wood stove? And he said, we have the wood. We want free heat. And he said, without the wood stove, we chose heat or eat. And they decided to choose eat. And I'm telling you, my feet were cold in that house. It was, it was cold. So I looked at it when I sold them that wood stove is I made their house warm for them and their family, uh, their kids. They didn't have to be in a cold house no more. So uh, it was it was great being able to provide that service uh, to them and a, and a great uh, furnace and a great company to back up their stuff. So anyway, I appreciate it. Any comments or Give us a thumbs up. Um, until the next video, you guys have a great day. And thanks again uh, for watching our channel. Have a, good, have a good day now. You going to sleep tonight now, Bailey? Huh? It's only 6 o'clock. You just going to rest a little bit?